So it's another x squared, so we need everything on one side. So x squared minus 6x minus 7 greater than 0. We'll graph it on our calculator. x squared minus 6x minus 7. Go to a standard window. So we can see where it looks like it crosses. We'll do a g-solve root to get the actual roots, the actual x-intercepts at negative 1 and 7. So the graph looks like this, negative 1 and 7. The greater than tells us that we're looking above the x-axis, so that's here and there including the arrows. So it's two intervals with the infinities because of the arrows. Negative infinity to negative one with a parenthesis because it's not an or equal to. Union, because there's two intervals. Seven to infinity. Also parentheses. There's the answer.